from Northern Ontario. My name is Dave and this is Macaro Society by N Scale Railway. Uh, today we're going to paint in here. This is the well for the, um, the conveyors that bring the, the ore from the mine, from the crusher, up to the buildings. And the buildings are sitting right there. Uh, so you can see there's uh, a major building. There's a, a building with a sign on it. That's from the, uh, the website DAPR3D.com. Uh, and so is the other building that you can see in the background, the small square one. These are uh, there so that the conveyors can turn corners and go to different parts of the large building. So we're going to start and paint in the uh, let me go to camera two here. There we go. That's what we're going to paint. We're going to paint that well, fill it full of, uh, I filled it full of uh, my own mixture of uh, sculpt mold, which is uh, plaster Paris, uh, mortar, and uh, cellulose uh, fiber for insulation, blown in insulation. Uh, th there is a video, if you hunt back on, uh, on my channel, there's a video where I demonstrate how to make it and, uh, and then I, I show you how I put it in. So I didn't think there was any point in doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just going to paint the side that you can see uh, because I'd have to stop and then move every single camera to get to the so we can see the other side. So we're going to paint this side. That's the one you can see. The uh, Let me see where that's, that's three. Okay, let's do that three. Now you can see there's the well. There's a building halfway up. And then from that building, another conveyor takes over and goes up. So we're gonna paint this today. Uh, and I'm gonna use a, a couple of different colors and a couple of different types of paint. I've got uh, mostly water uh, base paints but I do have uh, a couple of oil-based base paints as well. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna paint the, uh, the wall gray. And uh, we're gonna paint the wall gray. And then once it's all painted and still wet, we're gonna come in with a uh, black wash. Uh, I've got a yellow ochre wash, a uh, uh, burnt umber wash. Got something called tan over here that I haven't made up yet. Uh, I, I, I didn't use that color on the rest of the, the quarry, so I was, uh, I was uh, debating whether I'm going to use it or not here. So, without further <coughs> oh, excuse me, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I always do is I give everything a layer of gray paint, uh, so that. Uh, So there's a base underneath. So if I miss anything, at least the rocks are going to be painted gray. Now, uh, to make this a little easier, I'm going to I'm going to move these out of the way. This is already glued down. It, it's solid, and uh, so we're going to have to paint around it. So, like I said, for the day we're gonna we're gonna paint this, these walls, and uh, once those are painted, we'll call it quits for the day. I'll paint the other side off camera, and then next week when we come back, we'll uh, we'll do a little uh, refresher on how I I do the bottom surfaces these these surfaces in here. So, let's see what we want to do. We want to go to there, so you can see that's what we're going. Now, uh, I did this um, a day ago, yeah, at least 24 hours ago, and then I put a little space heater up here on a box and blew hot air into here to get this as hard as hard can be. The thing with my sculpt mold is, because it's got mortar in it, it, uh, It sets up like a rock once it sets up, and there's no way that you can uh, you can mold it or 
you got to do all your molding while it's still damp. So here we go. Uh, if I had a bigger brush, that would help. I don't know. If I, oh, I do have a bigger brush right here. Okay. So this is just a wash of gray house paint. I went to uh, my local uh, home hardware and uh, bought just a quart. Probably gonna last a long, long time on these, on considering the scale of end scale. So I'm gonna switch here. I've got a, I've got a bigger a brush. Yeah, let me see where I can put this. So I'll put it down there and see if it makes a difference. So okay, here we go. This will, this will speed things up a bit. So as you can see, or maybe you can't. Oh yeah, you should be able to see now. This is. This gray is almost the same color as my uh, my sculpt mold mixture, and I don't just brush, but I push it into every crevice so that I'm going to take you out of here. So when I was doing this, I I, uh, I made up a very stiff batch because uh, you want it to stick to the um, to the foam and dry reasonably quickly, or to a point where you are. Uh, you're pretty sure it's going to stay on a vertical wall. Alright, here we go. It's a little hard to see in here. It would be easier if I was painting from the other side, maybe. I could do that. I could go over and do that. We'll just keep going. Sort of looking at the camera and judging where my my paint is going. So, like I say, I've usually put down a light gray, and now we're going to start to do the washes and stuff. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I was terrified I'm going to spill something on my laptop when I'm doing this. And uh, I'm going to take this paint. You know, if you, as you're watching this, you realize that I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of where I'm putting the paint because of the way I'm painting backwards here on this wall. But you really want you really want that. We humans are very bad at random, making things random. Usually we. We end up making patterns even if we don't want to. So now here comes the black. As I said, some of this is water-based, some of it's oil. Um, and 
and if you keep the washes fairly liquid you can sort of sneak up on the stuff oh what happened there what did I do there oh, okay okay well, I, can put, I can put that back on just knocked off a, a little Look at my gray paint. There. Put my gray paint over there. Just gonna just see an area where I need to use a small brush. stand in there uh, and uh, so I can see I'm not, I'm not. like I say though when I do it like this then it's a random pattern and uh, you really can't uh, it looks more natural now all these paints are uh, believe it or not dollar store paints you go to the right dollar store, they, they sell just about everything. So the, uh, so just give me a second, I'm going to duck down and go around the other side and so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to probably start putting the, uh, the yellow ochre in, which is the oil paint. Uh, so I'm just going to duck down here. Okay, that's not looking half bad, that. All right, let me just, uh, so. Well, but I did miss, I did miss places here. So we'll just, we'll just. Now the other thing I do after this is all done is I come in with grout and I dust the uh, I dust the, the rocks with different colors of grout and that gives it a, a slightly more powdery natural flavor uh, view. It also uh, Does a little bit of highlighting on the on the higher points. All right, now now this one's a well bait, and I'm just gonna again. I'm not I'm not trying to make a pattern. But I did use this. Uh, this yellow ochre in the other parts of the mine and uh, so that's why I'm using it again here to make uh, for a decent sized little bottle of, 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 of uh, poster style paints. There we go. All right. So you can see it doesn't take much to do this. 
and I just work work at it till I'm happy with what it looks like. So just go and, uh, and switch it back so you we can talk a bit more. Oops, missed the spot. Now the nice thing about the, both the water washes and the oil washes is that if you use the right thinner you can remove them. Remove them from the... Uh, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there and give that a bit of a wash. So. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Most people are not going to see that. It's going to be buried in the background. So I'm just going to scoot around again, and uh, we'll talk just a little bit about what's what's going on here. Like I say, I got my my basement floor is covered with wires for uh, for. Uh, for all of the cables that go to the computers, the cameras, etc. that make it possible to do the videos. So. so we're basically finished this now. Uh, except for, for dusting it with, uh, with powders. And so what I would do is take a uh, a makeup brush and see I can just I can just dust it on now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put any on, on the vertical wall yet because it's still wet paint and I gotta let that dry but the light uh, grout and the dark grout go and then over here now what I'll do at later is I will spray this with uh, isopropyl alcohol and then uh, oh what a mess and uh, I'm just gonna a little bit more here Like I say, I'm going to spray this down with isopropyl alcohol and then uh, I have uh, Mod Podge and uh, Mod Podge and water mixed in a spray, a spray bottle that I can spray on and uh, and get it uh, all up and uh, stuck down so it doesn't, uh, there's a dust floating all over the place when we finally get this railroad moving. Uh, so. What we'll do is uh, we will finish the inside of the well uh, off camera and that will get us right to the top here and then we can start fixing these buildings in place. The first thing to do First thing to do before we start putting any uh, ground cover down is to finish this concrete pad that uh, is there for my uh, uh, my major building, the, the this one that, that, that sits right here. So I'm going to have to paint this. Clear. Okay. 
I'm going to have to paint the, that concrete and I've got a product uh, from Golden uh, Artist Supplies. It's called uh, Fine Pumice Gel and it's, uh, it's an acrylic gel with a, a light grit in it. So I'm going to spread it on here. I'm going to mask the, ra the, 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 the rails, spread it on, on the wood that's here. I've already painted the wood with uh, Varathane to seal it so that stuff will stick to it. It's pretty well all sanded flush and even ready to go. So that's it for today. Um, trying to get these to be a little shorter, uh, but time will be time. And uh, the crane, which uh, was uh, last week's, now has uh, the dolly has thread and a, and, a, and a weight at the end of it, and then it now has a hook. Uh, I had to kill some time uh, at the pharmacy, so I went across and went to uh, uh, Canadian Tire. And I thought, you know, I should go look in the fishing department. Maybe there's something I can use for a hook in the fishing department. Well, sure shooting there was <laughs> for like three bucks. Uh, so this in here, I don't know if I'm, maybe you can't see it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I've got another camera that's got a good shot, but no, nothing does. Anyway, this little thing here is, it's got, it's got a little weight on it, and then it's got this clip that uh, you clip your, uh, your hook onto. So what I did is I snapped that off and made it into a hook rather than a closed clip. And then this is just a piece of plate steel that I put, uh, easy line on and then put it on the hook. You can actually take the steel plate off and uh, if you want to use the crane and spin it around you've got to because this plate now hits the wall over here when you, when you turn on the... Uh, here, let me see, let me show you. It, it kinda... So, again, thank you for watching today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm getting more subscribers. It's, it's slow, but it seems to be steady, one a week sort of thing, which means we've got about as many subscribers as we have episodes. So I want to thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week when we start up on the top here. Uh, doing this bit by bit, just as... Uh, as I progress to, to getting the mine finished. The mine is still going to take probably another month, two months, which is fine with me. Uh, I'm in no hurry. I, uh, and there will be some weeks where you're watching me just paint vehicles to get them ready to go in the mine itself. So thank you very much. Like I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.